airplane mechanic, you don't seem to be very skilled at retrieving your own voicemail messages. Why aren't you returning my calls? I paid you an obscene amount of money to work with me, to stay put where I can find you if I needed to. Now, where the hell are you? Call me back, damn it. Our agreement was that I could leave anytime I wanted. You are leaving for all the wrong reasons. This is not the time to run. I overheard David on the phone trying to... Well, this is perfect timing. Just the woman I need to speak to. Um, uh, not, not right now. Actually, I'm waiting for someone. Oh, I'm sorry, David. Didn't you hear what I said? I'm yeah. actually waiting for yeah, someone. Yeah, I heard exactly what you said. I'm clear. Wow. You know, even blackmailers should have some manners. I hire you for counsel, not judgments or commentary. OK, talk fast. The mechanic that sabotaged Erica's plane seems to have disappeared. <sighs> Now, in the event that I cannot track him down... Right, you want to know if you've got enough evidence to threaten your wife? Yeah, maybe. So can we please just drop this right now, okay? What's going on with you? Why are you so stressed out? Uh, is it because your date hasn't shown up uh, yet? This, this is not a date. You've already eaten. You've read the paper. Sorry to break this to you, sweetie, but it looks like your date stood you up. He's going to show. Please tell me you're not waiting for Martin. You can do so much better than Tad. Greenly doing. Well, we're doing great. In fact, we're getting closer every day. If you say so. Is it so hard for you to believe that she could love me? Actually, no. But then again, I am out of my mind. I knew there was a reason why I liked you. So. Marissa is now working for Caleb Cooney. I met that guy. And I know about his legal reputation. The guy is a rock star. Uh-oh, I hit a nerve. Marissa's been going through a hard time lately. I didn't realize how bad it was. I really should have done something sooner. Was it about JR? Yeah. He crushed her. My sweet, beautiful daughter. We're so close, Eliza. Marissa and I were finally starting to build on something. And now I may have lost that chance for good. I miss Colby. I miss her so much. Late. One of my daughters needs me, and I can't seem to get there in time. First, there was Laura. Oh, well, and you can't blame yourself for that. Oh, please. Are you kidding? A world renowned cardiologist can't fix his own daughter's heart. Who else should I blame? Come on, that was senseless. It was a tragedy. Right, like Babe? Yes. No. No. It was my responsibility to protect Babe, and I failed her. I could have saved her. I just didn't get there fast enough. Wait, you were going to outrun a tornado? She died because she got involved with J.R. Chandler. And now Marissa is suffering for the same reason. This is from a woman. OK, you can't tell her. You, you can't tell her who love. I knew. I knew what would happen if she married that selfish jerk. I could have stopped it, and I didn't do it. Now I may have lost the only daughter I have left. I tried so hard to reconnect with Colby after she ran off to be with her father. And uh, I would work for a little while. We'd get close, but it just it never lasted. No, well, Colby's young. They have time. Not after what I did. There's no time in the world that's going to make a difference. Tell you what, you figure out how to make that deal, let me know. It's so weird. It's like you, you, you want them to love you so much, you end up doing these stupid, selfish things, and then they never want to look at you again. How do you deal with a child rejecting you? 
I wish I had the answer. Well, that looks like my cue to go get a drink. Liza, you're still I manipulating me. She loves you, you idiot. Down here? No. Sure? You know, it wouldn't surprise me. That's what people do when they're desperate. Hang out with him. Don't call me anymore. All right, look, I'm sorry, okay? And Warren came walking in here. He wouldn't give you a chance to talk. I just thought it was wrong. Thank you for sticking up for me. You're not going to tear my head off? I, um... People in my corner these days. I think I'm gonna take what I can get. I'm honored. Yeah. <clears throat> I think you have more friends than I do. Now that seems like a pointless argument. You know, like one Brock asking the other who's smarter. All right, so you have no friends, I have no friends. Well, at least we have each other, right? That is depressing. No, depressing would be if I lost you, too. You want me to talk to Marissa for you? You would do that for me? Well, I can't get through to my own daughter. Maybe I can get through to yours. Besides, a girl needs her daddy. And there's nothing more pathetic than a bad guy feeling sorry for himself. Did you just call me a bad guy? Well, you're not a good guy, so... I guess you got that right. I'm sorry. For not buying the last round of drinks? Yeah, for that too, but... for giving you a hard time about Tad. And I actually really appreciate that. I appreciate that in a man, even a dishonest man. 